G'day. In today's video, I'm looking at a machine I've never really looked at before. A Dell Optiplex 7060. But this particular one is a micro computer. As you can see, it's only the size of a few DVD cases stacked together. With an i5 8th gen, so it does support Windows 11. And I'm curious if we get in there. What are we looking at exactly? Is it a socketed chip? What are we going to find? Let's open it up and see what can be upgraded or changed. Which is probably going to be very little, which won't surprise me if that's the case. Slide to the front, lift up. What have we got? We have one 2.5 inch drive with nothing in it, of course. Down here we have a little bit more expandability than I initially first thought, which is quite surprising. We have a 2.5 inch MDME drive here. Just spin this around. We have a Samsung drive, 256. Perfectly acceptable for a small office computer. We have the Wi-Fi card here. We have one screw-in antenna around the back over here, which will look something like this. We, so they're both upgradable. We do have a SATA connection over here for a 2.5 inch drive. So you'd be able to install it into here and put it into here once more. Looking over here, it's just gonna be a chamber. If I can figure out how to undo it. There we go. Now that is pretty darn rad. So we have one cooling block right here. In here is a i5-8500T, which is a low wattage processor. I do like the fact that it's using a standard socket and would be upgradable. Over here is not what I expected to see. Two sticks, or two slots available. And currently this has got 16 gig of DDR4 2666 megahertz in there which the installation of that's pretty straightforward. Have one notch, in, down, in, down, and we're installed. Preferably, I would rather this as two eights in here as opposed to a single 16. Get slight better dual channel performance because of it. Usually I see an uplift of about uh, 10, 20%, depending on what you're doing. So I'd much rather dual channel, but hey, 16 gig, 16 gig, and it goes, pushes down, Let's take this off, I'll replace the thermal paste on it anyway. And then I'm gonna give it a dust blowout while I've got it open. Granted, there's really not that much dust in here. One cooler off, one lot of very dried paste. Used an ample amount of Dell by the looks of it, so that's nice in there. Put some of this on here. So some IPA or isopropyl alcohol. Granted, if you wanted to upgrade this for gaming, you virtually have no real choice. Nothing's gonna go in here. You have no form of expansion that way. There we go, some there, some here. It's a little bit dry. Go. I'll give it a dust blowout. Now let's put some thermal paste on it. No matter what I do here, it will be wrong because the internet is always right. Okay. Like swirling it around. And from there, use a little spatula. Finish, get it finished off from there. Uh, 
very happy with that. Now it's a matter of putting this back on. Feel it just sitting and sliding there. Started, started. Go. Tighten all the way down. I should better fold this over. This should clip on there. Like so. And should have ample room to spin without hitting a cable. Yep. Next would be the 2.5 inch drive. There we go, that's attached. And lastly, this one. And that should screw in from there. And also, considering this is reasonably old, display port, display port, display port, three USBs, Ethernet, Wi Fi, and around the front, USB, and Type C. So, reasonably modern for considering it's such an old device. Anyway, that was the Dell Optiplex 7060 Mini. Bye.